Scientists at Winnipeg's National Microbiology Lab have been tasked with testing monkeypox samples taken from Quebec patients. We understand from other countries that are reporting cases that the current monkeypox strain or clade, if you like, is the West African clade. Uh, we have not yet uh, confirmed that in Canada. It would be unusual. None of the confirmed cases or more than 20 potential cases under investigation in Quebec have recently traveled to Africa where monkeypox is seen annually. Dr. Anne Ramoyne has spent two decades studying the disease in the region and says finding the origin of spread is now key. Right now, we just don't have those answers. So it's really important to, to, to go back to the beginning and remember that uh, we're in very early days. What we need to do is to identify all of the cases, really understand the scope of what we're dealing with, and then look to see what kind of common denominator there is. Clusters of the virus have been reported in Britain, Spain, and Portugal, with more cases popping up in the U.S., Australia, and across Europe. Dr. Robert Polarski works at a sexual health clinic in Montreal and treated some of the suspected patients. Should we vaccinate everybody? I do not think. Should we vaccinate people who are at high risk? I believe, I believe it would be a very wise idea. Public health officials are considering a ring strategy that would include using a smallpox vaccine for close contacts of those infected. Doses have proven effective against monkeypox and are already being offered in Britain. Smallpox was eradicated in 1980 in terms of, you know, vaccination campaigns, I think, in Canada that stopped in the early 70s. And so I would say generally that the entire population uh, is, is susceptible to this, uh, to, to monkeypox. Officials wouldn't say how many smallpox vaccines are available. For those seeking personal protective options, you might feel a sense of deja vu. Experts recommend masking, hand washing and physical distancing when needed. Mitigation measures with which we've become all too familiar. Jamie Marocker, Global News, Toronto.